So, preparations continue this week for Margaret Thatcher's funeral, which will be held at St Paul's Cathedral on Wednesday. Among the in invited mourners listening to the eulogies will be a man who once helped to bring about her downfall. Michael Heseltine resigned from her government, criticised her from outside, and then challenged her for the leadership. Does he concede what her supporters insist, that only Margaret Thatcher could have transformed the nation? Our political editor, Gary Gibbon, has this report. She saved our country. She saved our country. One of the finest leaders in the history of the country. Margaret Thatcher made the world a better place. The whole nation will be forever in her debt. A ceremonial funeral. The Queen, the armed forces in attendance. It all underlines a message you heard from tribute after tribute. Margaret Thatcher was unique. No one could have done what she did in office. But not everyone sees it that way. The trade union reforms, the change in state private sector balance, privatisations. Could that all have been achieved without Margaret Thatcher? Oh, yes. There was no doubt. That... The man who walked out of Margaret Thatcher's cabinet believes the bulk of his colleagues had already committed themselves to the central policies that would come to be known as Thatcherism. Trade union reform would have happened without her. After 1978, the winter of discontent, the Tory party were absolutely determined to grip this issue. They felt it had run through their fingers in 74 with the miners' situation, and they weren't going to lose out the second time. I think we're complete agreement about that. Don't you think this is lovely? And the trouble, Mrs. Michael Price Heseltine says privatisation would have been picked up by another Tory leader, and that it followed on naturally from the sell-off of council houses. That was announced in October of 74 when Ted Heath was the leader of the Conservative Party. We didn't win that election, but that's when it became party policy. And, and there was complete agreement that that's what we were going to do. Margaret Thatcher's allies praise Michael Heseltine's attacks on unilateralists in the 80s. Here he's watching as missile bases are secured against anti-nuclear protesters. But Margaret Thatcher said his interventionist ideas for industry was socialist. He believes they would have tempered the excesses of her reign and still delivered the central achievements. Was it necessary to have Margaret Thatcher with her strident, sometimes abrasive style to get all those changes in those years? Well, I have no doubt that that would have happened under any Conservative leader. I don't know which leader Michael had in mind, um, but <laughs> Michael was a great operator on a single front. Um, he, I always described him as the great one ball juggler. Given one ball, he would juggle impressively, never drop it. Two, mm, that's difficult. Three, down would go one. Um, we saw that time and time again. But Michael Heseltine told us we could actually have had all these big structural reforms without Margaret Thatcher, with a different leader? Well, it is possible. Maybe uh, when Michael Heseltine says that, he's thinking of himself. Uh, but his policies were, some of them, his ideas were some of them the same, but some of them totally different. Do you think there's grown up a bit of a, a, a myth uh, around uh, um, Margaret Thatcher as some sort of great heroine, without whom great changes would not have happened? Well, I wouldn't myself um, believe you can avoid uh, the polarisation of political leaders, uh, the, the particularly um, where you have a national press which has its own agenda, um, and without any doubt that there, there are newspapers in this country which felt that, that Margaret represented their type of politics. Um, and uh, so she did get a, a, a very considerable um, degree of support, um, uh, particularly from the Murdoch Press and the Telegraph and um, the Daily Mail. Um, so she, she undoubtedly did, did achieve that, and, and of course it was hugely bolstered by the Falklands War. His opponents may call that sour grapes from the man who failed to win the Tory leadership for himself. Michael Heseltine thinks adulation for Margaret Thatcher has been a newspaper-fed myth. If he's right, it looks like being one fed still more by the full-blown ceremonial farewell that lies ahead.